Did you know that you can create a moving motion simulation movie inside of SOLIDWORKS Visualize? I had never tried this until I was creating a motion simulation inside of SOLIDWORKS Premium and decided to give it a go. I was pleasantly surprised at how easy this was to complete. Let me show you what I created. Last season my robotics team was toying around with a really tall robot that had an elevator lift on it and we decided that it was probably not a good idea to drive up this ramp with our tower up. We learned quickly that we were right to assume that and that we could design our center of gravity to avoid this tipping problem and we didn't tip over a single time all competition when many robots indeed fell over. I thought it would be pretty neat if I could render this motion simulation using SOLIDWORKS Visualize and overlay the animation onto the real field. So I started with a simple motion simulation for the robot with the tower in a known position and then I turned on my Visualize add-in. This method works with Visualize Standard which comes free with SOLIDWORKS Premium. Since you won't be creating any motion simulations in anything but SOLIDWORKS Premium, I did not mention that Visualize also comes with SOLIDWORKS Professional. So you could create animations in SOLIDWORKS Professional using the same process and then utilize Visualize. Once my motion simulation is done calculating, I will use the Visualize add-in to create an export to Visualize and begin my movie animation. Depending on which method or level of detail you want to go into during the rendering, you can click either Simple or Advanced. I picked advanced because I was really interested in playing around with certain settings at a later date. I selected the study I wanted to make a movie of and let the conversion begin. You'll see SOLIDWORKS calculate the motion simulation, ask you to save, and as we look over to visualize we'll see our model come into view. I added a picture from the competition with the real robot in it to get a sense of scale and this became my backplate. Then I aligned the robot till I was satisfied and removed the floor so it looks like my rendered robot is playing alongside the real robot. After a few tweaks and some simple appearance changes, I got a result that I was satisfied with for a draft quality. I played around with the center of gravity as well as the lift being high and low. I ended up doing a few more animations and a couple of fun images. Hopefully this will inspire some additional interesting animations from our users, so give this a try.